This is tutorial number seven on radio receivers. You're doing the foundation theory course with the Radio and Electronics School. What I've done to make it a little easier for you is show the transmitter we were last speaking about and then a simple radio receiver for that transmitter. Let's just go over the AM transmitter again. Audio comes from the microphone and goes into the modulator. An RF signal from the oscillator also goes into the modulator. The AF, the audio frequency, and the RF from the oscillator mix in the modulator in such a way that the audio produces amplitude variations of the transmitted signal. That signal is then fed to an amplifier, increases the power and it's transmitted. Now we receive it and because the signal is very weak we need to amplify the RF signal with an RF amplifier and the stage that does the opposite of the modulator in the receiver is called the detector. What the detector does, or demodulator if you like, another name for it, what the demodulator does is remove from the radio frequency signal the audio that went into the microphone at the transmitter. So simply RF signal comes in, it is amplified, then the RF signal goes into the detector the detector removes the audio from the RF signal that went into the microphone at the transmitter. At this point here we've now got audio, so we amplify it with an audio amplifier and we listen to it in a loudspeaker. That's a tuned radio frequency receiver, a TRF receiver, and that's the only one you need to know for your foundation license. You don't need to know any other block diagrams for your foundation. However, you do need to know about some receiver terms. And the first one I want to talk to you about is sensitivity. The sensitivity of a, of a receiver is, its abil is a measure of its ability to receive weak signals. It's measured in microvolts. You will not be assessed on that. So sensitivity is the ability of a receiver to receive weak signals. So a receiver with a greater sensitivity is going to be able to hear signals where a receiver with a lack of sensitivity would not be able to hear those signals. The other quality of, of a receiver that we're interested in is selectivity. Selectivity is the ability of a receiver to receive the wanted station and reject all other stations. It's a, it's a measure of the sharpness of the receiver. It's the ability of the receiver to pick up the signal that you want and for any other signals that are not on that frequency but close to it that receiver should reject those signals. That property of a receiver is called selectivity. And lastly we have stability. When we tune a receiver to a frequency, for example 14.2 megahertz, if we went away and made a cup of coffee or something, we'd expect to come back and find that receiver still tuned to 14.2 megahertz exactly. If a receiver doesn't have stability, it's usually due to the oscillators moving in frequency as they heat up, but if a, a receiver doesn't have stability, it will wander all over the place in frequency and a transmitter will do uh, likewise. So stability is the ability of a receiver not to drift in frequency. Drift, change if you like of a receiver not to drift in frequency. There you are.
that's about it uh, for receivers. We'll be discussing controls on receivers and transmitters in a future tutorial. Cheers for now. This is Ron, BK2DQ.